Trent Dilfer here with Gavin Ast, our Panini Super Bowl kid reporter for this year. And Gavin, are you fired up or what? I am so fired up and excited to ask these NFL players questions. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. We're going to start with the Rams. We're going to jump in because it's virtual this year. We're going to jump in. They're sitting at a booth. Uh, I'll tee up uh, with the player, and then you you let it ride, man. You let them give them, give them your best stuff, and, and I'm sure they're going to be fired up to answer your questions. Okay. All right, you ready? Let's kick this yeah. thing off. I think we're heading to the Rams right now. Congratulations, Matthew, on making it to the Super Bowl. I have a question for you. All right, fire away, buddy. My question is, what was your first thought when you heard you were getting traded? And what were some things you had to get used to in moving from Detroit to L.A.? Um, my first thought was, man, I was excited. You know, I was excited about the opportunity to come to Los Angeles, play for this great organization with the great teammates that I'm going to have the opportunity to play with, you know, and, and um, for a great coaching staff. Uh, you know, at the same time, I was – I was really thinking back about how appreciative I am of so many of the great teammates and players, you know, that I got to play with in Detroit. Thankful to the Ford family for my opportunity to play in this league. Um, but at the same time, I was I was pumped about being able to uh, to get to L.A. Um, some things I had to get used to, uh, just about everything. It was a uh, total total different, uh, you know, situation for me and my family, both on the football field and off. But uh, you know, there's been great support here, both with our team and and throughout the community to help my family and myself kind of you know, integrate as quickly as we possibly could. And, and we're here today, uh, you know, getting this great opportunity to play in this game. So it's been uh, it's been a whole lot of fun. Thanks for the question, though. Hi, Cooper. Congratulations on making it to the Super Bowl. Thank you, Matt. Uh, my question is, what drives you to be the best you can possibly be in life? You know, I think that really comes down to uh, my faith. Um, you know, I, I believe that God made me with a purpose. That he gave me the passions. Um, and the uh, talents to um, pursue a specific thing. Uh, I found out, at, at a, I feel like I found that at a young age, that I realized that football was something that um, I just felt like when I was playing football, um, he was well pleased with what I was doing. Um, but that was just what I was supposed to be doing. I just felt like uh, I just had a, um, a supernatural calling. Like this is what I want to pursue. Um, and I was able to go all in on that. Hi, Joe. Congratulations on making it to the Super Bowl. Thank you. My question is, what sort of advantages do you feel like you have with Jamar having played with him in college? Now, that's a really good question. Um, you know, whenever you have, you know, you have to get to know a new receiver, and you know, it's always tough at the beginning because you have to you know, learn how he's running routes. He needs to learn the velocity and placement of your, of your footballs. And, you know, we already had that coming in and we already knew how to talk about the routes that we missed and we would get it corrected very quickly. Uh, so it's a, a big advantage when you already have a relationship with, you know, a new receiver that you have. Hi, Jamar. Congratulations on making it to the Super Bowl. What's up, bro? Thank you. I've, I have a question for you. My question is, what do you think your strength is at the receiver position? Yeah, um... I think my strength is that I'm versatile. You know, I, I can do um, inside and outside. You know, my speed is, is definitely a big difference this year. Um, something I've been working on. So my speed and, you know, my body is the biggest thing. Wow, Gavin, you crushed that, man. You're the star of media day. Tell me kind of your favorite moment from the times you interviewed these NFL superstars. My favorite moment was probably when Cooper Cup answered my question because I like how he's very confident in his faith in Jesus. Yeah, he was awesome. He was really bold and really clear with his motivation was. Now talk to me about the Burrow interview. I mean, everybody's wanting to talk to Joe Burrow, man, and you just rocked that thing. Well, I was really nervous at the start, but then I kind of just went on with it and read my question and everything went perfectly. You did, man. You had great poise. You never sound nervous. Like you seemed like a, su a seasoned pro, like the like the like the dudes I used to work with at ESPN, man. So super proud of you. Uh, you did a great job, and you were definitely star media day. As usual, our Panini Super Bowl kid reporter crushing again at 2022 NFL Super Bowl media night.